Hello, this is Tyagarajan. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to find out the average access time for a CPU when cache is present between CPU and memory. If you are not familiar with the kit time, miss time, hit rate etc. See my previous video by clicking on the link that appears at the top of this video frame. This is CPU. This is primary cache or level 1 cache. This is the main memory. When CPU requires data, first it will search on the cache. If it is available, then it is a kit. The hit rate is indicated by H1. If it is not available, then it is a miss. Then the data should be brought from the main memory to cache and the hit rate for the memory is HM. The time required to access data from the cache is cache level 1 access time. The time taken to retrieve data from main memory and put it in the cache is the main memory access time. When there is a hit, the average access time will be equal to multiplying this H1 by this access time. When the data is not available on the cache, the average miss time will be equal to multiplying this hit rate by this access time and adding the total value with this time. That is, the average access time will be equal to average hit time plus average miss time. The average hit time is equal to multiplying these two values. That is, H1 into access time of level 1 cache plus the average miss time is multiply this hit rate with this value. That is, HM into main memory access time. Then you add that value with this cache level 1 access time and multiply the complete thing by 1 minus H1 that is the miss rate and the total value will be the average access time. Now let us see a problem. A cache memory needs an access time of 30 nanoseconds and main memory needs 150 nanoseconds. What is the average access time of CPU? Assume a hit ratio of 80%. The options are A48, B30, C54, D60. Let us solve this problem. So the given data are hit ratio of cache is H1 that is 80% that means 0 0.8. 80 divided by 100 is 0 0.8. Then access time of cache is 30 nanoseconds it is given. Similarly memory access time is 150 nanoseconds. So you have to use this. The average access time is equal to H1 into access time of level 1 cache plus 1 minus H1 into cache access time plus HM into main memory access time as we discussed previously. Here no memory is provided below the level of main memory. All the missing data at cache level should be provided by this main memory. So the hit ratio HM will be equal to 1. So the average access time is substitute all the values. H1 is 0 0.8. Then access time of cache is 30 nanoseconds. Then 1 minus H1 that is 1 minus 0 0.8. Then cache access time is 30. Then HM is 1 because the main memory provides all missing data. So the hit ratio will be 1. Main memory access time is 150. You solve all these things, you will get this one 24, this one 0.2 into 180, that is equal to 24 plus 36, that is 60 nanoseconds. So the answer is D, 60 nanoseconds. Now let us see another problem. What heat ratio is required to reduce the effective memory access time from 200 nanoseconds to 140 nanoseconds if the cache access time is 20 nanoseconds? The options are A 85%, B 44.4%, C 40% and D 33.3%. In this problem, the memory access time is provided as 200 nanoseconds and the cache access time is provided as 20 nanoseconds and this 140 nanoseconds is the average access time. Now, if you assume that the hit ratio of cache is H1, then you use the same formula we discussed already. In this case, since there is no memory provided below the level of main memory, all the missing data at cache level 
should be provided by the main memory so the value of hm here is 1 so you put these values in this formula that is the average access time is equal to h1 into 20 that is access time of the cache plus 1 minus h1 into cache access time is 20 plus hm is 1 main memory access time is 200 you put all these things and this value should be equal to 140 now you solve this equation you will get h1 so here 20 h1 plus 1 minus h1 into 20 plus this 200 that is 220 that will be equal to 20 h1 plus 220 minus 220 h1 that will be equal to 220 minus 200 h1 and that should be equal to 140. So 200 H1 will be equal to 80. So H1 will be 80 divided by 200. That is 2 by 5. If you need the hit ratio in percentage, you multiply this 2 by 5 by 100. You will get 40%. So the correct answer is 40%. That is C. If the content of this video is useful, please press like button and share to your friends or students who are studying engineering.